Look how easy this is, right? Okay, maybe it's not easy. Oh, duh. Don't like that. Grab yourself some poison. Some poison that you grow yourself. Stick it in there just like that. And you just like go like this, turn this lever. Bam. And you got a cigarette. So, right there. Kentucky 17, day number four. Seeds haven't germinated yet. They take about two to four weeks. Got to keep a humid environment. Once they start to sprout, that's when you turn on the light. After that, I'm going to try some Comstock tobacco. These are the seeds right here. And this good stuff. Golden Burley Tobacco. It's hard to start germinating them, but once they germinate in there, and about and they're about when they get to about an inch high, about like that, you transplant them, give them some Miracle Grow or something, and phew, you grow it. Then you that's when you transfer the tobacco plant to outdoors. So you want to grow it indoors. This is just run. I'm just doing a test run. That's all. But if you got some property, you want to grow some tobacco, so you don't have to pay for tobacco. It's completely legal in the United States, as long as you don't sell it or trade it. So, yeah. You can, like, give someone a cigarette or give them tobacco, but you can't trade it for goods. Then it makes it illegal, but it's completely legal. But just doing a test run. When we buy a property, we're going to probably grow some tobacco. And some marijuana. But yeah. I swear I didn't grow this. It's good stuff. FYI, you ever get a fucking five pound bag of fucking tobacco that you probably can't even smoke in ten years? And it gets dried out. Here's the remedy, right? You take a little Ziploc bag like this. Take a piece of tin foil. You lay it on top of the tobacco in a Ziploc bag. See this humidity right here? Yeah, that's what you want. And uh, you wet a piece of paper towel. Not so much that it's dripping, but just wet it. Stick it over the aluminum, aluminum foil. That way you don't um, get the tobacco, the water directly on the tobacco. So if your tobacco gets really dry, which happens when you have a lot of it, um, you just stick it in there with the wet paper towel on top of the aluminum foil. You seal it up. And you leave it there overnight. Next day when you wake up, take the aluminum foil and the paper out. And your tobacco will be nice and moist. My phone was upside down. Okay. Anyways. So, you want to grow tobacco? Right there, test sample. Get these little cubes. I don't know what the fuck they're called, all right? You can buy them for like freaking four dollars on the internet. You want to put some uh, soil in here that drains well. Tobacco likes uh, really good draining soil, but it wants a, it likes a lot of nitrogen, right? So I fill these up halfway with uh, like cactus or succulent soil, and then on the top half I put some finer stuff, uh, high in nitrogen. That way, 
because the seeds, these seeds in here, are the size of a pinprick, like a needle point. They're tiny. They they probably take up this little space right here where my thumb is for 100 seeds. There's 100 seeds in here, right? And you can hardly see them when you take them out. So you just dab your finger on them. Then you want to sprinkle the seeds, right? You don't bury them. Uh, they like to germinate on top of the soil. You take a spray bottle. Boom. First you take this little tray right here. This bottom tray. I don't have one on the table, but this bottom tray here. You fill that up like maybe a quarter of an inch of water. Then you place these trays with the soil in it. On top of that motherfucker, right? And one day I'll stop cussing, right? But whatever. Haters gonna hate. Um, then you just place this on there. It soaks the water up from the, from the uh, bottom up. Which is better because these seeds are so small that... They will just float around on top of the soil if you try to pour water over. So you just soak it up from the bottom. You get it uh, nice and wet, but not super soggy. Then when you want to water them, you just... Boom, that's it. Until you see the seeds germinate, when you start seeing the white, green things germinate, these haven't germinated yet because... I'm literally growing these for house plants right now until I buy a property. Then I'll uh, plant some tobacco. Um, this is day five. Uh, you can't even see the seeds in there. You cannot see them. But when they start germinating, then I'll take this humidity lid right here off. Boom. See all the humidity? They like nice humid weather while they're germinating. The hardest part of growing tobacco is the germination phase, right? I'm learning this myself, so bear with me. When they germinate, then you blast them with light. You don't need it. You use any old light. Keep it over the top. Once they get about an inch big on these, so, oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. I've been drinking. Um, so they're going to be tiny little germinated seeds, right? When they get about that big... You take some tweezers and you thin it out. Each one of these squares, you thin it out and you leave the best one. Okay? And you do that for each and every one. That way you'll have one growing on each one. So then when the actual plant grows about an inch to two inches high, that's when you want to pl uh, plant the shit outside. Um, high nitrogen soil. Um, keep it watered. And... Then after that, after that phase, when they're an inch or two big, they're good to grow outside. Um, you don't want to grow, uh, start them from seed outside because the seeds are so freaking tiny and fragile. The hardest part of growing tobacco is the first three weeks, and then it just grows like a weed. And um, so that's day four. Nothing happening yet. I'm going to grow these. I'm going to keep a couple around the house just to grow them for fun. I've uh, planted Kentucky 17 tobacco, so we're going to try that once we cure it. But uh, then I'm going to try Golden Burley and then some Comstock. Portland Kennedy, look what you done started. You got an old man trying to plant tobacco, but well, when I do have a property, I'm going to have a nice little lot full of uh, tobacco plants. You know what I'm saying? So I could smoke it. And, um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my stupid lesson. Um, but yeah. Portland Kennedy. Check this out, dude. What do you got me doing, bro? Look. Look. Look at this shit. What the fuck, dude? So I bought these, um... So I can roll cigarettes with a filter. Because smoking tobacco without a filter is kind of nasty. But hold on. Look at this shit. What am I going to do with all this tobacco? 
That's a whole lot of good smelling tobacco right there. But good looking out, bro. Good looking out. You know why? Because the stuff's not bad, dude. And it, um, I actually smoke this stuff when I'm in the house. But when I leave for like work or cop watching or something, I'll just smoke my uh, Marlboro 72s. It tastes good with all them chemicals in it. Um, fuck, I can't even reseal this bag. That's annoying. Um, you gotta let me know in the comment, bro. Um, how long does a five pound bag of tobacco last you, dude? Holy shit. This came in a monstrosity of a box. Pipe tobacco. But anyways, right? Uh, we should hook up sometime, man, and go out cop watching together or something. Um, still working on food storage. Once I get another two over here, then I'm going to move it out to my storage. Indoor storage. And I'm um, currently working on some oats, waiting for the oats to show up. Uh, yeah. That's it, dude. So, about day 10, I'll do an update on this weird tobacco project i'm doing but uh i didn't get the electronic one bro i just got this which works pretty damn good but uh yeah i'll, I'll give you guys another update on the uh, tobacco deal on how to grow tobacco okay and i'm out